In this video, I'm going to show you guys seven applications that I use on MacBook and literally is changing my life. So let's jump into the video. So the first thing we're going to discuss about is Battery Space Pro. Now, what this is, is literally icon here. And you can control your external monitor that you connect to your MacBook, for example. And you can control also the monitor that comes from the MacBook. Now, the main thing that this application fixed for me was when I was plugging a HDMI cable into my MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro, the screen will start flickering and there's a lot of things on the internet, you know, there's a lot of people that are complaining about it and trying to fix it and things like this. Now, this application actually fixed this for me. I don't know what, what it did and things like this. It just fixed it. I just install it, I activate it and, and that's it, it fixed it. Now, how you can see, I can also have con uh, control over this application. Now I can have, uh, you know, resolution change and everything. So I can change a lot of things here. I can change the refresh rate, how you can see on my monitor. I can change all kinds of things. The main thing that it fixed for me was the display flickering. And I also have, you know, the full control to, to control my external monitor without the, without the MacBook. And one of the things that I love is that here, I can actually control the brightness of the display. Now, the problem is that uh, MacBook, for example, it doesn't let you con control the brightness from the external display. I don't know what that is, but I normally have to use the buttons on the monitor. But with this thing, then I can control the brightness, I can control the volume from the monitors. I'm not using the monitor as the speaker. I have different speakers, but still, if I use the monitor, I can control the speaker from here. I can change the resolution and I can change, you know, color profile and all kinds of things here directly. So I don't have to go into settings and things like this. So this application does have a pro version. I'm, I don't pay for it. I'm using the, you know, the uh, trial version, the free version. And, uh, you know, it's amazing. I don't have any any problem with this one. Now, the next application is called All Dante or A Dante. I have no idea. You have a link in the description to the link. And it's this one. And what it does is you can literally limit your MacBook to how much you want to charge. So, for example, I limit it to 80% here. And then the MacBook will not charge more than 80%. You know, it's like the iPhone battery when you say don't charge it more than 80% because you will damage your battery. This is the same thing. So what this application does is limiting your MacBook so it doesn't charge more than 80% or whatever you're going to select, 90, 100, 50, what, what, what's your option? I just put 80%. And it's limiting it and like this you won't have any any problem with your macbook and the battery will last longer so i think it's a really really good idea now the next application that we're going to talk about is this one command x now what this is i don't know if you use windows before but on windows you can press ctrl c and ctrl v for copy and paste how it's on the mac uh, command c and command v but on windows you also have the option to press ctrl x which you will cut that means that you will copy the file and after you paste it to the new location, you automatically delete from the old location. Now, macOS doesn't have this. Now, with command X, this is what it's actually doing. It, you command X and then you will copy the item. It will paste it in the new location. Once you paste it in the new location, it will automatically delete from the old location. So you don't have to go back and delete it from there if you don't want it. And I think it's a pretty nice idea. I don't understand why macOS doesn't have this included already. But for me, it's a life saving because, you know, it, it, it helps me keep my, keep in mind that, you know, normally I have to remember to delete the file and then it will take more space from my computer and I was looking at what's taking the space. Like this, it's an easy application. You just install it and it just works. So it, it's a must have. Now, the next application is actually a wallpaper application and it's this one over here. It's called Unsplash Wallpaper. And what this is, it, it will change your wallpaper automatically every day if you set it up to change it. If not, you can just click here and you will refresh to your new wallpaper. The moment you have one that you like, you just set as wallpaper. And how you can see, you just change my wallpaper here. I don't like this one. I can change wallpaper here. You, you have multiple displays, how I have, because I have a HDMI plugged in on this monitor, so I can use it. And then I have my monitor here from, from the MacBook. Then you will launch automatically, you will update daily. And here you will have, you, you can choose whatever you want. So nature, space, beach, abstract. Here you can see your history of application and here, you know, it will start uh, adding the application from uh, the wallpaper from, from the wallpaper that you selected. And it's pretty nice, you know, it will change the wallpaper automatically for you. It will give you a new look on your, on your screen every day. And depending on your likes, you know, if you want to change it manually or if you want to change it daily, it's up to you. I change it daily myself because, you know, some wallpapers, I'm not a big fan of it. But yeah, for this one, it's a pretty good application and I, I really love it, you know, it keeps my, keeps my wallpaper clean and uh, I don't know, it's a new thing every day. So you don't get, you know, too bored with your MacBook. 
Now, another application that I really use and I really love a lot is called AppNote and it's a note application. Now, what this is, is literally how you can see you can make notes. And what I love about it is one, it's available for all the operating system, Android, iOS, Mac OS, Windows and Linux. And it's, it's simple, it's just a note application that you just type and things like that. The thing is that, that you know, you, uh, you have to pay for it. So this application is not free. It does have a plan which I paid. I paid for the lifetime uh, price on it. So if you go here into pricing, you got one ninety nine per month or thirty nine ninety nine lifetime subscription. And I pay for lifetime. And right now I can just easily sync my notes between all the devices that I have. So I don't have to have a Mac or I don't have to have a Windows. I can sync it between my my devices, even if I'm using the Linux computer, even if I'm using the Mac OS, I, it doesn't matter. It will just sync. And the idea that I can, you know, have some feature here that I can change the color, highlight things and stuff like that, including with my mobile, if I want to do this, you know, it makes my life much easier because I don't need the computer. One alternative for this one will be OneNote from Microsoft. The problem is that with that one is very limited on mobile, you know, at least the last time I checked it. It was very limited. I couldn't highlight, I couldn't change the color, I couldn't do nothing. Well, with this application, I can do all kind of things and I actually love it. So for example, here I have a Debian 12. I, I made a video about how to use Debian and I put all the notes here on what I'm doing and all the commands and things like this. And actually I did this using my iPhone. Now the other one, it's actually a free application which is for a mouse problem. Now on Mac OS, I'm using a Logitech mouse, a G305 here. And I have a lot of problem with the mouse. For example, if I was playing a game called League of Legends, probably you heard about it. Uh, in game, the mouse was having problems. I couldn't control it. You know, I was trying to move the mouse, but it was having lag. It was something like it was going like this and then it was jumping and suddenly it would be up here and stuff like that. Now, what this application does is actually fix this problem. So how you can see, you have here the scrolling speed and everything and you can make shortcuts on your mouse. You know, you can modify the keys and everything. The main thing that it fixed for me, and actually I found on Reddit this fixed, is actually just installing it and just leave it like this. You know, I don't understand what the Mac problem is with the mouse and thing like this. It's not the only mouse that I have problem on my Macs. And uh, I think it's getting ridiculous to a point where Mac OS right now, they need to step up a little bit when it comes to mouse control and things like this. I understand they want us to use the magic mouse, the problem is I really hate the magic mouse because the magic mouse doesn't have two separate buttons. It's just one button. So right click is with two fingers. And most of the games, for example, when you have to right click and right click and right click to move, it is not convenient for this one. And uh, this mouse, this application actually fixed the problem for me. So I really, really love it. Now, the last application that I'm using is then this one is to control my mouse, uh, to control my wallpaper, sorry. It's a dynamic wallpaper over here. Now, what this is, it makes my screen animated. So you can open it, where is it? It's here. You can open it and you can work to the workshop here and you can download any video that you want. You know, some of them, they're nice. Some of them, they're not too nice. And you can make it as a wallpaper. So for example, you can preview the thing. How you can see this one, it's a code 4K. And this is how it will look on your screen. Now, if you do like it, all you have to do is just press download and you just wait for it to download. And then this one will become your home screen for the uh, on your Mac. Now, once it's downloaded, you just go to download here, you select which one you want and you set set as wallpaper. Now, because I have two displays connected, I'll just put all displays here and here you go. Now I have an animated wallpaper for my Mac. It's actually pretty good because it doesn't eat too much battery on it. To be fair, you don't even see the difference between battery or not, but it's actually pretty good. I love it. And you know, it gives you a new look on the, uh, on your Mac. Now, as a bonus application, I have one more and it's this one over here. So it's called shot. I can't even use it now. For example, for me, I'm using a keyboard here, which is a mini keyboard, you know, mechanical keyboard, and I don't have a Mac OS layout. I have a Windows layout and sometimes the shortcut, for example, for the screenshot doesn't work. I have to go here to my MacBook and actually use the screenshot function. Now, what this is, is actually a screenshot function. All I need to do is just capture this place, capture an area, for example. Uh, yes, allow it because I don't care. Mac OS is still using this thing. So capturing the area here and I just select this side, for example, and voila, show preview. And I have show preview here with my screenshot. And then you can do whatever you want. You can edit it, you can copy it, you can save it, things like that. If you don't want it because you said, okay, it's not for me, 
you just close it and it doesn't save the world be the screenshot how normally macOS shakes it. So yeah, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you do like this video. Like this, YouTube will get notified that you want, you want this video and you will push it to more people. And yeah, I will see you in the next one.